Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to show Pandas data analysis interview questions. I'm going to be creating the data on the video, so you can either solve the questions by yourself or watch me solve them. Let's start coding. I'm going to be using VS Code. I use it a lot, like I use it in my work and also in my personal projects. I prefer that, but you can prefer any code editor that you want. There's no limits on there. You can use PyCharm, Spider, Google Colab, anything that you want it doesn't matter as soon as you can create a jupyter notebook we are good to go so we can start i'm going to delete this welcome page and i will say like interview.ipmb and for the interview i will say select kernel 311 for python and i will say import pandas as pd and what i'm going to show you is i will give the library version i have like you can see from both here and here so it's 203 why i'm showing that sometimes with the library updates the codes or the codes working behind the codes can change so it's safe to download the same version of the libraries if you are going to follow the video with coding so how you can install this version is you can say just like installing normal libraries pip install pandas and you need to specify the version like this and for the max side you can do pandas 203 like this of course from terminal you need to do this from terminal and you can also create a virtual environment for this tutorial i have a tutorial about virtual environments you can check that out and we can start now what i'm going to do is i prepared an example data i took it from chat gpt and i'm going to paste it in here so this is going to be our interview data set and at the country side we have countries capitals populations areas continents and gdps in terms of billion dollars so i'm going to make it run and then i'm going to create a data frame like pandas data frame and i will paste the data in here so we are going to have a data like this and we are going to work on this data set in this video so we can start with our first question for making everything clear i'm going to paste the questions in also in here in text like this and our first question is which country has the highest population density and if you're going to solve them by yourself you can stop the video and you can try to solve it by yourself and population density is fun like you are going to divide population to area so let's start i'm going to solve it in here too you can both follow the video and watch it or try to solve it by yourself so we will say data frame population density and it's going to be data frame population divided by data frame area like this and now what we are going to do is let's say like highest population density is going to be data frame location data frame population density dot index maximum and we are going to take the country from that like this so this is going to be our answer and we can see the result in here so it's usa great so we can continue with our second question so i'm going to take it from there i'm going to paste it in here and it is what is the total gdp of all countries in each continent so what we are going to do is we will say GDP by continent and it's going to be data frame group by we are going to group by continent like this and we are going to take the GDP let me check how we write them I'm just going to copy that also you can call data frame dot columns for seeing the column names they both work like I'm going to take it from here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste it in here and since we are asking the total we will say sum and we can just say gdp by continent also it returns the pandas data frame which means that you can manipulate it in the way that you want like i'm going to say sort values and i'm going to say ascending equals to false so we can see the maximum at the top and it's north america according to our data great we can continue with the next question so i'm going to paste it quickly 
It is which countries have a GDP greater than the average GDP of all countries. So let's find them. We will say average GDP and it's going to be data frame GDP billion dollars dot mean. And then we have the average GDP of this. And what we are going to do is we will say hi GDP countries and it's going to be data frame data frame GDP billion USD greater than average GDP and we are going to filter our data frame in this way and now we can check our high GDP countries it's only USA so why we get a single answer is we are taking the mean and USA boosts the mean a lot like let me check the data frame we have like this is so high so the mean is high and others can compete with it great so here is our answer and we can continue with the next question so I will paste it in here quickly what is the ratio of the total area of Europe to Asia so let's find it we will say area by continent and it's going to be continent I don't want to make a typo there data frame group by we are going to group by continent and we are going to take the area we will use sum and I'm going to call area by continent we can see that we have a data like this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Europe to Asia area ratio and it's going to be area by continent and we will pass Europe like this and then we will say area by continent Asia like this and I will call Europe to Asia area ratio and it's 2.64 also let's round it for making it look better like this is going to be cool it's 2.65 great okay let's continue so our next question is if each country were to increase its GDP by 10% what would be the near total gross domestic product of the world so so we will say data frame new GDP and we can say billion dollars like this and I will say data frame GDP billion USD multiplied by since we are increasing by 10% we are going to multiply it with 1.1 and what we can say in here is for the total new gross domestic product we can say data frame new GDP billion dollars that sum like this and now I'm going to get it like this and let's round it like this and let's say this is in billion dollars like print billion dollar near GDP and it's total new GDP what if we want to show it in dollars not billion dollars we can simply do it by total new GDP dollars and I'm going to add something like not billion and it's going to be total new GDP multiplied by 1e9 so what is this we are converting from billions to dollars so this 1e9 means it's same with 1 multiplied by 10 and 9 like this 9 power of the 10 so I'm going to print total new GDP dollars not billion and here is our answer okay so it's great I just want to show you this because next question involves information from this so I'm going to add a markdown here I'm going to copy my next question and it is which country has the lowest GDP per capita and what is its value so in that side we will say by the way you find the GDP per capita by dividing GDP to population so data frame GDP per capita is going to be data frame GDP billion dollars and we are going to convert it to actual dollars like that and we are going to divide it to the 
data frame population like this and then what we are going to do is we are going to say like data frame lower capital country and it's going to be data frame location data frame GDP per capita we are going to be looking at this column and here it is and I will say GDP per capita dot index minimum and we want to get the country from this and here it is so it is lower capita country so Japan it's our first answer which country has the lowest GDP per capita and what is its value so in that side we will say lower capita value and it's going to be data frame GDP per capita dot minimum like this and we can call lower capital value and it's going to be this okay so this was our answer let's continue with the question 2 so here it is calculate the percentage of the world's total population that each country represents so let's do that total population is going to be data frame population dot sum so our total population is this and and we are going to say data frame world population percentage and it's going to be data frame population divided by total population and we are going to multiply it with 100 so whenever we call the data frame we are going to see our percentages like this and we can just take the sum of it like data frame world population percentage and sum it's going to be 100 like this great so this was our answer here okay let's continue with the next question we have so I'm going to copy it out quickly and paste in here what is the average area of countries in each continent so we will say average area by continent and it's going to be data frame group by we are going to group by continent and we will say area that mean aggregation function and whenever we call the area by country and let's sort it in descending order ascending false and here is our result okay I'm going to bring the new question we have identify the countries where the population is above the 75th percentile let's do that I will say population 75 percentile and it's going to be data frame population and we will say quantile and I will say 0 0.75 like this and then I will say high population countries and it's going to be data frame data frame population and greater than population 75 percentile and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it run and I will show you high population countries like this and it's USA and Japan now I'm going to take country from this like that and I will say like I'm going to make it run and we can see USA Japan and I will say to list after that so we can get our answer in prettier way great so I'm going to bring the next question we have which continent has the highest average GDP per capita so we will say average GDP per capita continent and it's going to be data frame group by continent and we are going to take the values of GDP per capita that we already created and we will say that mean after that and I'm going to bring it in here average GDP per capita continent and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this I will say highest GDP per capita continent and I will paste it in here then I will say index maximum like this and I'm going to call highest GDP per capita continent and it's Oceania great and our last question for this set I'm going to bring it in here and it's going to be right in here 
What is the correlation between GDP and population across the countries? So we will say correlation GDP population and it's going to be data frame GDP billion USD dot correlation and data frame population and I will call correlation GDP population it's 0 0.98 which means there is a high positive correlation so for remembering correlation we it can take values between minus 1 and 1 and 1 means strong positive minus 1 means strong negative relationship which means that strong positive relationship they are moving together and strong negative correlation means one is going up one is going down like they are moving oppositely and this was all for our question set so thanks for watching this interview exercise i have a playlist where i share interview videos like this i believe there is more than 15 videos you can check that playlist from the cards of this video also you can subscribe to my channel i share a new data science video every week let's get to the outro thanks for watching again thanks for watching this interview exercise i have a playlist with more than 10 interview exercises you can visit that playlist from the cards of this video i'm sharing new data science videos every week you can subscribe for more videos like this have a great day